Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and welcome to show and tell number 98. I believe we're getting so close to 100, and I can't believe it. Um, it's been a little bit of a busy week. I've gotten a lot of crocheting done, uh, knitting done, but <sighs> not as much as I'd wanted. So, what happened this week? Well, on Saturday, we woke up at oh dark 30 in the morning and had no idea what to do with ourselves. We had a package we needed to go pick up in Asheville. So we did spend the day in Asheville. Uh, it's about a two hour drive from here. So it wasn't, you know, like a big fancy day out or anything. But we packed overnight bags just in case, you know, we got wrapped up doing something and ended up deciding to spend the night. But we, we came back. We made it a day trip in and out. So I did get one of the three shawls I took with me finished. So I'm calling this squarish. It's using a kind of a block stitch, but on one edge you can tell like it's a little bit ripply and on the other edge it's perfectly straight. And that's because I was tinkering with how I want it. Once again, peas and carrots throws off my light balance and I'm used to turning orange, not ghosting out. But um. Yeah, so I, I was playing with how I wanted to do the stitches to make it work best for a shawl or uh, even a blanket, I think. So you can tell like the loops are a little bit bigger down here and a little bit tighter up here. But once I block it, that's not going to be something that's obvious. But this used another couple of cakes of the peas and carrots. I've got a few upstairs and I think... I may have just taken everything upstairs. Yeah, it looks like I just took everything upstairs with me. Uh, the One of the other ones I took with me, I finished Monday morning, I believe. And this is using the leftovers from my mother-in-law shawl. And this is the Spring Showers Cow Shawl. Uh, so I keep saying it's a cow shawl still, even though the, the crochet along is over. Because if you look up, crochet spring showers shawl by itself there are a couple other patterns that show up first but i think this is by pattern paradise or paradise patterns i will have it linked down below but that is now finished i always get compliments on the one i made out of genie and this one is a uh, cupcake my lime brand cupcake in spring break and uh I love how it turned out. It's perfect for the spring. We're having the weird weather where now it's like warm. It'll be like 30 when I leave for my walk and it's 50 by the time I get back. So I'm okay with this though. The only thing I'm a little is that the pollen has started, but the weather's been beautiful. We've had a lot of sunlight. Saturday was beautiful. On um, this Saturday, I will hopefully have the pictures and a few little video clips that I took uh, edited together. And today I will film a short little video showing what I bought at the yarn store there, but I did make a yarn purchase and I'm super excited about it, but I will share that uh, in one big video of what we did in Nashville, because one of the things we did was go to the folk art museum. And that's always so much fun. You never know who's, cause it, it's like downstairs. It's kind of like a craft show. And there's some amazing things there. And then there's these big, beautiful quilts that are for sale. And you can buy, like, I think one of the pictures I took is one of the handmade bats. And it's got leather wings. And it was so cute. But it just couldn't justify $50 for a little bat to hang off of something. <laughs> but it was so adorable. Uh, beautifully made. Uh, we didn't really buy anything. Uh just because we really wanted to see more what was there. And then upstairs, they have an actual like art gallery, some things you can purchase, and then they have the historic craft thing. So I took a lot of pictures while we were there. So I want to put those together in their own video to kind of showcase everything that we saw while we were there, plus the yarn store and my purchases there. So that will be Saturday. Hopefully that will go live. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was nice to just get out in decent weather and relax. You just relax. Plus, you know, car crochet. I enjoy getting my car crochet in. Tuesday, hopefully, I should have a video 
discussing the next yarn that I love. So we'll see, see how everything works out. Um, and trying to get that filmed and discussing about that. What else? It was kind of a, I had my hands, I'm almost done with the crochet surprise shawl. That should hopefully be done tonight. I'm like 18 rows away from finishing the shawl part. All I have to do is sew on the little band to, and hopefully I'll be done after that. <clears throat> I'll probably sew it tomorrow, but I've also been working on a shawl using the yarn that I bought at my LYS the other day. And I'm pretty excited about how that's turning out. I finally got to wear one of the threads changed color. So it went from like being green with a couple little flecks to now it's green yellow with a couple little flecks and it's turning out beautiful. And that's, it's called, it's not Silent Night. It's Silent, nah, something. But it's got like snowflakes. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared a picture and I'll try to remember to attach it here too on Instagram with Pippin curled up while I was working on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that pattern, I will leave it linked down below, but it is super easy to follow. I wish I'd brought my clipboard down with me because I do have a couple tips and tricks for patterns like that where you have to think, but it's not. Same thing I use with the and how I can watch movies and still work on things that you have to count. Um, I've been working on my, it's called the Tilly sweater, I believe, and it's by KT and the Squid. It was shared on the Furls website. That's what I'm doing with my Karen Ripple Cakes. I'm about, I think, 20 rows, or not 20, maybe only 15 rows now, from splitting to where we do the, the shoulders. It is going to take some blocking, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I haven't been able to work on that as much as I'd like. Just, <laughs> it's a little bit harder to carry that one around with me. If you watched my yarn bingo video, you will have seen my progress on the architecture shawl. So check that video out. But that's what I've been working on. Now, on to acquisitions. <laughs> Everything but my Asheville acquisitions. So first off, I got a really, really sweet card in the mail from Cheryl. Isn't you cute? Isn't you cute? And that was very sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, mail to my post office box is still going slow. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is my mini maker bag from T Doddles. And it was, I got an email on Friday saying it was going to be delivered. It wasn't delivered. Got an email on Saturday saying it was going to be delivered. Still wasn't delivered. And it still showed as being in Georgia at the time. So I was like, why, are, why do you keep telling me this is coming in the mail today if it's still in Georgia? And then Sunday, I got an email saying it was going to be in the mail on Monday. And it did finally show up on Monday. It was finally delivered. That was a little, little bit of an adventure there. But let me get everything out of the bag so I can show you what, what the extras were this month. All right. So we got a sheet mask. Which I love sheet mask. I know they don't necessarily do the most for your skin. But just the experience. Oh, see, that, that that's what I'm used to where it turns pink or orange. Uh, the experience of doing a sheet mask is just so relaxing. And it's like that 15, 20 minutes where you just zen out and relax. I, I enjoy the experience. The other thing we got here is an Epsom salt activated charcoal black lava, lava salt with juniper and grapefruit. I can kind of smell it through the packet, but I'm really looking forward to that. I've told you guys before I do uh, Epsom salt soaks regularly. It helps with joint swelling and it helps with muscle fatigue and stuff like that. So generally every Wednesday I try to take a soak. So that will be going directly into the bathroom to be used next time. Our tea this month is Pucka Nighttime, which is delicious. I already know I love this one. It's a dreamy bed of oat flour, lavender, and lime flour. It is quite nice. Very relaxing. 
and then I'm going to try to get it to where you can see the, the, the impressive part of these. These are our maker charms this month. Diggy piggies. Biggy, piggy, piggy, piggy. Ignore my lack of manicure and poor dry cuticles. We've got a pretty little glass, sea glass cube there. Biggy, piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> I think they're so dude. I, I, I love kids things are adorable. And then, and so, and so, the yarn for this month, because I, I did the mini mini for the year, is by Southern Skeins. This is First Blush. It is a four ply DK, 20 grams, 460 yards in Pima cotton. And let me just tell you, oof, that is so soft. That is so soft. It's a, it's still dry like cotton, which is one of the reasons why, you know, I get a little frustrated working with cotton, but it's still so soft. I love having finished objects with cotton, but the, the cotton is a little dry on your hands. And then, as I unpack everything, like I showed you, we've got teapots, teacups, little saucers, Say hello. He's mad because he's not allowed to go on the porch because he decided to squish through the rails and almost fall off the back patio. Yeah. Say hello. He's like, let me out. Let me outside. I want to go back outside. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy. But that's what happens when you give your mommy a heart attack. You you lose privileges. And then on the inside this month, we have this beautiful batik fabric. Once again, I just love the combinations. This almost didn't get shown this month or this week because I almost dropped my cake for the Karen Rumpel cake in there. Guys, this is so happy. He's just happy. Not that I don't have other bags I could have used. He's just, he's very excited about this one. So, that's really all I had to show you guys today. There hasn't been a whole lot going on. It's, it's, what has been going on kind of needs to be talked about separately. Oh, now he's crying. Yeah, he's mad at me. Hip, hip. I have a feeling I'm going to find something destroyed here in the next 45 minutes. Be mad. He wants to go lay outside and be part of everything. Come here. No, he's just going to stand there and cry at me. He's right at the door to the craft room and he's just standing there crying. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Mm. I hope your weekend is fantastic. I love you guys, and I will see you guys real soon. Bye, guys.